Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer. I'm Pastor Gary Lodholt. We've spent this week learning all about angels, and today we look at a second category of angels, the cherubim. In fact, cherubim are often pictured as babies with wings. We use the word cherub to think of them or to describe this little adorable angel with two wings. In fact, the word cherubic means having the childlike innocence or plump prettiness of a cherub. But that's not how the Bible describes them at all. There are some references in Psalms to the cherubim, most of them describing that they surround the throne of God, not like the seraphim who fly above it, but the cherubim seem to be under and beside the throne of God. However, one thing is clear. Like the seraphim, they are constantly praising God. They are described as having wings, feet, and hands, and are full of eyes. They seem to have some special responsibilities, too. They are the ones who guard the tree of life in Eden once Adam and Eve are banished out of the garden. And in Ezekiel, they stand watch as destruction comes on the people. In fact, they seem to have that role of keeping watch. In ancient Israel, the temple was adorned with images of cherubim guarding the entrances, and especially the Holy of Holies, to make sure only those who were worthy were allowed to come in. When Moses made the Ark of the Covenant to hold the Ten Commandments, on top of them, they created two cherubim to guard it, and they were made of gold. The ark also became called the mercy seat because it was considered the very footstool of God and the place from which God's mercies to us emanated. Like the seraphim, the cherubim seemed to spend most of their time praising God. In some ways, the cherubim stand for all the heavenly beings who praise and do the will of God. Now, maybe when this week started, you thought you knew all about angels, but perhaps we've learned some new things from the Bible and maybe unlearned some things that come only from tradition. We've talked about angels in general, the archangel Michael, the general of God's armies, and the chief angel Gabriel, who was God's messenger of grace and promise, and seraphim and cherubim. And as we end, I want to come back to where we started with a quote from Paulo, Paulo Coelho, who wrote, No, I never saw an angel, but it is irrelevant whether I saw one or not. I feel their presence around me. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.